Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. So this is gonna be a nice spicy sausage that you could use either as a deli meat or you can make them a little thinner and use them as a sausage. It's really up to you how you want to do it. So we're going to start off with some white kidney beans. I use the canned, uh, sorry, I don't use the canned, I use the jar because I like the taste of the beans when it's in a jar and not in a can, but you can use a can if you want. Uh, I am using, it's about 14 about 14.11 ounces so that is what I am going to use and these will get rinsed not completely completely rinsed but I will take most of the liquid out so these will get rinsed uh, we're gonna need two small apples a large red pepper need some agar we're gonna need paprika we're gonna need some garlic salt and we're gonna need some chili here we go push this up for you guys we're gonna need some TVP I'm using the light one I'm not using the dark one and we're gonna need a little bit of pickling spice and vital wheat gluten of course salt I forgot some maple so here we go now a lot of people complain oh you know vegan sausages aren't great because it tastes like vital wheat gluten well my sausages do not taste like vital wheat gluten my sausages are delicious so if you haven't given them a try it's a must but this one here is going to be more of a deli sausage that means it's going to be wrapped a little wider so you could use them in sandwiches or you could do what my daughter did the other night she made a delicious dinner for her and her father but what she did was she cut that sausage in cubes and she tossed them with some veggies and let me tell you I was dying just smelling that dinner it was crazy good there you go sausage is really good so we're gonna start off with some vital wheat gluten now more or less guys okay that means you might need a little more and I'll tell you why because I have a large red pepper but maybe your pepper is not as large as mine so when I give you measurements just leave some back and if you have to add it you add it and if you don't have to add it then you leave it out so I'm gonna start off with one and a quarter okay so I'm gonna start off with one and a quarter my quarter was a little heaping But like I said, if I need to add more because my pepper is bigger than the one I used last time, I will add extra vital wheat gluten. I'll give you an approximate. Remember, when you're cooking, because uh, I didn't measure the weight of the pepper, I'm telling you one large pepper. Like I said, maybe your pepper is not as big as mine. Maybe your pepper is even bigger than mine. So you might need extra gluten. So don't worry about it. I'm going to show you what the texture should look like so you have an idea what your dough should be like at the end right okay so we're gonna add to this uh, adding just a little bit of TVP and we're gonna add a third cup no is it a third cup let me see no I'm gonna add a quarter cup sorry guys Here we go and I just want to show you how it looks like it's never flat it's always a little heaping my measurements because if it would be flat then it would be like this but mine's always just a little extra well, a little extra is always good because you end up getting a little extra sausage right okay so we've got the TVP we've got the vital wheat gluten we're gonna need one tablespoon of paprika we're gonna put oh that was chili eh? so <laughs> it is one tablespoon of chili for sure okay we're gonna put one tablespoon of paprika now I said this is a spicy sausage so if you find that you can't do the spice then either you leave it out or you you put it in it's really up to you how much you want to put actually I could even put a little extra heat in ours but like I said it really is up to you if you can handle the heat or if you can't okay and to this we're gonna add some garlic salt and it's about a whole tablespoon of garlic salt 
Let me just break that piece. Okay. Remember, we might have to add some extra vital wheat gluten only because my pepper, I have no idea what size it is, but I don't want to start off with too much vital wheat gluten because then I'm going to have a very dense sausage. So I'd rather add to it than have too much of a firm dough that you really won't be able to enjoy it. Okay, to this we're going to add some salt. And I'm using about maybe a teaspoon, a teaspoon and a bit. There we go. So remember, always a little heaping. I've got one, two, three, four, five tablespoons of nutritional yeast. And by the way, guys, when you buy nutritional yeast, always check it because not all nutritional yeast has B12. If it doesn't say B12 on it, doesn't have B12 so you must check that before you buy it okay made a mess okay my counter is clean so okay I'm gonna put this aside for now and we're gonna start off with my pepper and I'm gonna need my Nutribullet okay I am going to uh, just cut in my pepper first And I'm only going to put a bit of it in first because I'm not going to have room because of my beans. So I am going to put some now and if I have to, and later on I'll add more or vice versa. Maybe my beans won't fit right away. Well, you know what, I'm going to put it all now. I'm going to blend some of this up with my beans and then I'm going to add more beans and work from there. Okay, so we're going to add, here we go one oh, one and a half tablespoon of maple syrup and yes I do add maple syrup in everything that's my trademark guys mm, if I could bathe in it I would but it just adds a little something extra so pickling spices I'm only gonna add one teaspoon guys you don't want too much of this and there's one teaspoon of my pickling spice okay Remember what I said, just a light wash. You don't want to overwash it. Okay, I'm trying to do this without making a mess. There we go. And I'm going to add more as I need it. Okay. Uh, to make this go a little easier, we're going to add some olive oil. And listen, guys, I know a lot of people message me and say, why do I have to add olive oil? Well, you don't have to add olive oil. But it's sure, let me see. Let me push this away so you can see what I'm doing. You don't have to. You can leave the olive oil out. We're going to use, I'm going to show you how much I'm using. Jeez. I've got one. I should come out a little faster. Two, three, four, okay, five to start off with, and then we're going to add more a little later. But remember, you don't have to put the olive oil if you don't want to, but the olive oil will make it a moister sausage. Uh, but the apples will make it moist also. So if you don't want to put it in, don't put it in. But it's nice to be able to put some of these in a pan and it's going to get nice and brown for you because of the olive oil. But like I said, you don't have to put it in if you don't want to. So I'm just going to start blending this. Maybe I should plug it in. That'll work. Okay, so now, ready? We're going to put also one tablespoon of agar. But because my tablespoon is wet, I'm going to go to my teaspoon and I'm going to put three of these in here. One, two, 
and three. There we go. So the agar is in. I'm going to put the rest of my beans in. And we're going to blend this up. Okay, let me just take that away. In goes that little bit of extra goo that didn't get washed out. And this is why I like using uh, my um, the glass jars rather than cans because nothing tastes like cans. Dry up these hands. I think I got everything. Let me see. Yes, all I have to do is put my grated apples and then mix everything up so remember we might have to add extra vital wheat gluten okay there we go not completely mixed but that's okay because this got blended before so I am going to grate these apples in here and then I'm gonna add my mixture Watch out, Gigi. As long as your apple is washed, you could put even the peel. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I putting apple? Is it going to taste like apple? Let me tell you, it's going to taste delicious. What the apple does is it breaks your gluten strand, so you don't just get a mass of sausage. You could cube it if you want, but I'm using the big holes here, so we're going to get some nice size shreds. Now, if you don't want to use apple, you could actually use an onion. I wouldn't ask you to shred it. Maybe dice it really thin. Okay. Let me take away my mess here. Okay, you ready? Erica, can I have a spatula? Now, if you want to use a darker bean, you can use a darker bean, but you will get a darker sausage. My lordy, that is good. Okay, let's do this. My hands are clean, so I might be using my hands. Guys, do not freak out. In my house, I use my hands. Nobody's died yet. Okay, so there you go. You see, I will need more Vital Wheat Gluten for sure. Trying to get it all in here. Okay, ready? at a time guys let me just push this away my counter is clean so if I have to throw it on my board yeah so one and a half for me but again um do it slowly, guys, because your uh, your apples might be a little bigger than mine. Uh, your pepper might be maybe a little smaller than mine. So you do it slowly, and you get the right amount you need to put. I always start with less and add. Okay, so I am going to, yes, add more olive oil. 
I am going to dump this on my board. There we go. Okay. A little piece of apple there. Waste not. Oh, this is perfect. You want it soft. You don't want it too hard. Okay, just a little sprinkle extra. And we should be good. Okay, as you could tell, it's very soft. You see this? But not overly soft. But I'm able to pull it apart. It's not like a ball where there's no way I can stretch this because it's just one big mass. But yet it holds together. And you see all these apple shreds? That's going to separate your gluten, so you're going to get a beautiful, beautiful sausage. Remember, you can either, if you want a firmer, add more Vital Wheat Gluten. You can make these into large, like a large deli meat where you use it as a deli or you could cut it up. You could put them in sandwiches. It really is up to you how you want to make them or you can make them the size of a regular sausage and you can make a whole bunch of those but these are super delicious wait till you try them you're gonna love 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 them okay let me get my paper Okay, so I do wash and reuse. I'm not sure if you know that, guys. I try to reuse my parchment as often as I can. I will not, um, I will not throw away uh, the parchment unless I really have to. So I'm going to cut this in half first because we want to make some nice big sausages. Yeah, this could have even been a little firmer, but for now it's going to be perfect. Okay, so there we add a little bit of olive oil. And that's the size I'm making them. It's like a nice big fast sausage. I could even make it bigger. Let me see if I can make this a little bigger. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah. Nice big sausage. Remember, this is a deli meat. You want to be able to slice it. Put it on pizza. Uh, you can slice it and put it in sandwiches. So it really is up to you what you're going to do to it. Okay. Okay, so squeeze. There we go. Squeeze and then twist the end. And you get a nice sausage. And if you're careful how you open this up, you can reuse this again, guys. Okay, sausage number one. That's a big sausage. This is going to be a deli meat. It's not going to be, um, so we could put them on pizzas. There we go. Try wrapping this one this way. big sausage I don't care if they're not even because you know it really doesn't matter all right there we go 
go tight, tight, tight. Cut this in half. So you see, you do get a lot of meat for the amount that you're actually making. Okay. This is my pizza paper. It's not going to be my sausage paper. Okay. Might not need all of that. Okay, a little bit of olive oil. I got a piece of aluminum right there. Okay. Remember, you don't have to you don't have to do the uh, the olive oil if you really don't want to. Okay, guys. There we go. Some will be fat, some will be skinny. But I do put parchment paper before I put the aluminum paper because I would hate that. Um, I would hate that the uh, the aluminum touches the food. I don't want that to happen. There we go. So I am going to use my pressure cooker. Now, if you're not using your pressure cooker and you're just using a steamer basket uh, on your stove, I would say at least... 60 minutes if not more it, depending how 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 wrapped your sausages are if your sausages are wrapped in a, a lot of aluminum paper you want them to be able to get cooked so uh, you could cook them for 60 minutes even longer if you want to that's if you're doing it on the stove if you're doing it in a pressure cooker 30 minutes we'll do it even 60 minutes if you really want to make sure I will put it for 60 minutes. Now, don't look at my sizes. They're all different sizes because, like I said, I really don't care what sizes they are. I want the end result, and that's how my sausage comes out. So anybody who says vegan food is expensive is out of their mind because it's not. We're talking a jar of beans. I always buy my beans on special when I get them in jars because otherwise they're a little more expensive than cans. But... It cost me 99, I think 99 or 89 cents a jar of beans when I get them on special. And what, a cup and a half of vital wheat gluten? It's peanuts. A pepper? That's all that's in here, really. Some olive oil? You want to leave the olive oil because that's expensive? Leave it out. Don't even have to put the olive oil. You want to use another type of oil? Go ahead and use a different type of oil. You want to leave the oil out? Leave the oil out. But really, I'm going to get so much food for a couple of dollars. And you can use it in so many different ways. So I'm going to see you in a bit. And when they cool off, I'm going to show you what this beautiful sausage looks like. So I'll see you in a bit, guys. Here's our sausage or our sausage meat or deli meat. Now I've had this uh, cooling. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. And here is our beautiful, beautiful sausage. Now, again, you can make it, um, you can make it like a, a thinner sausage that you can put in between buns to eat. Or again, you can make it the way I've made it, where it becomes a deli meat and you can put it right into sandwiches on top of pizza. It is simply, simply delicious. So I'm just going to cut this butt off first because... But there is the inside of the meat. It is beautiful. You can cut it as thin as you want, or you can cut it as thick as you want. And because of the apples, uh, the apple shreds, you can see the meat does not, um, you could actually shred it, and it's not as dense or rubbery like you would have if you wouldn't put anything in between it. Taste-wise, I can't even tell you how delicious this is. So, there you go. A very simple, very delicious deli meat. So, there you go. You could take this and you could put this straight on top of pizza. Or smack it in between some bread. A little bit of salad. A little bit of mayo. And you've got yourself a nice little meat that you can make sandwiches with. So, I hope you like this recipe, guys. And, like I said, if you give it a try, come back. Let me know what you think. And, guess what, guys? I'm going to see you in my next video.